All right, hello and welcome everyone. I hope everyone's having a good Easter. I just want to stop by and drop this character build video again. Another one of those conversational type videos that I'm going to be doing. Uh, I've already uploaded a few of them. I'm also going to be moving these character build videos into a playlist of their own on my channel. So if you're looking to go back and watch some of these and to be able to get a scope and watch all of them in order and see the progression of this whole thing in case you miss something especially if you miss like the dps guide video that i just did which is going to be really important to all future videos you'll be able to find those more easily and then i'll separate other stuff like boss glitches and the more popular things that i need to upload uh for other reasons uh to uh get, you know get, get those um out of the way um you know those are going to get views but i want people to be able to find um the stuff that's more meaningful so the thing that i got into last night was enemy armor um, how that damage stat actually works versus elite armor or, or elite damage and comparing those two things wondering if they were the same wondering if I had to choose between the two of them which one would I choose wondering if I should be using enemy damage at all the, the armor damage at all like how does armor damage work is armor damage by enemies actually um, a mitigation factor for armor for them like it is for us so player armor obviously mitigates damage and i wasn't sure so I, that's where i started at and i went into mission hospital and just started shooting everything all the purples that had armor and all the yellows that had armor and uh, trying to figure it out and the answer is is that they do not mitigate damage so the reason that it seems like and it definitely does seem like that when we fight against especially elite enemies that it takes us a long time to get through their armor pool right but then once we get through their armor pool, it seems like we fly through their health pool. And it seems like that it was mitigating damage, but but it's not mitigating damage. The If you have a base weapon damage of 10,000 and you hit an enemy that has armor on, you hit them for 10,000. And then once you get to the health pool, you're still hitting them for 10,000 if you don't have any buffs or anything on that is making your damage high. So that means that the health pool of the armor stat itself the bar is actually a larger number so the percentage of the enemy's health is by far larger in in armor especially for elites so in the mission hospital for instance the yellow enemies that are non-named seem to have a 200,000 point health pool and about 80 percent of that health pool is made up of armor and so that means that you know obviously right off i was like well that may make the armor damage um, buff better than the elite damage buff because potentially you know depending on how it works I thought it was mitigation at first and then I was like well that could be really good and then when I realized it wasn't I was like well then armor damage actually ends up sucking and then I was like well I wonder how this thing's actually being added up and so that's when I started looking at the numbers so what I expected to see because I have a total of 64% damage buff I have 33% in armor damage and I have 31% in elites and my base weapon damage is 9340 so if we added 64% extra damage to that we end up with a number of 15,317.6, okay? And the thing was, is that's not the number I'm getting in the game. The number I'm getting in the game is actually 16,274 with those stats on, which doesn't add up. And I was like, okay, so something's going on here. They're obviously adding one of these numbers first and one of them second. And if it's higher, it must be that they're adding, since I have a lower damage versus elites, they're adding the damage versus elites number first which definitely changes our decision making here and I'll show you why. So we have a 9340 base weapon damage and I'm getting 31% increased weapon damage versus elite characters which brings that number to 12236 rounded off, okay? So then they're adding the 33% 1220 12236. Now they're adding the 33% for the enemy weapon damage and god, I knew I was going to screw that up. Sorry. Anyway, the number ends up being, instead of the 15,317, the number that I'm actually hitting dudes for is actually 16,274 because they're adding the 33% after they put on the damage versus elites. So that means that you, the actual 9% increased armor damage that you're doing is actually higher than 9%, essentially. Okay? So... What does all that mean? Well, what it really means is this. Is that if you use damage versus elites without using armor damage. So if we have 10,000 weapon damage and we get 10% damage versus elites, we're going to be doing 11,000 weapon damage. And we're also going to be doing 11,000 weapon damage with just damage versus elites 
at, while it has armor up and through the entire health pool, so it never fluctuates. But if these numbers actually work the same, and we have enemy armor damage, we would be doing 11,000 damage also with 10% enemy armor damage if we had no damage versus elites. So we're doing 11,000 damage only while the armor's up, and then it drops off to 10,000. Well, if that's the way it worked, we would never use enemy armor damage over elite because it would just be a horrible decision because it's lower DPS, obviously. No reason to go any further testing that. But because it doesn't work that way, and they actually put the number on first, if we had those same numbers, you're not going to get, you're going to be getting, if, if we had 5% and 5% instead of getting the 10%, we would be getting, um, you'd have a 10,000 base weapon damage number, and then you'd multiply that by 0 0.05, and then add that back to 10,000 to get 10,500. But then we would be doing another 5%, which was the same 10% we had a minute ago, and you see now instead of doing 11,000 damage, we're doing 11,025 damage. So if you use a mixture of these things, the damage number actually goes up. But there's a trick to it, because if you're using armor damage, it only counts for damage while the armor is actually up, right? And then once the armor goes away... We're not doing 11,025 anymore. We're going back down to our base 9340 for the entire rest of the health pool. So that's why it's important of what is the percentage of the health pool that enemy armor actually makes up for. Because that's how long we're going to be killing enemy armor. And so how long we're at that 11,025 over the 11,000? If we're there long enough, that means that our DPS will be higher if we use a mixture of enemy armor damage and elite ar and an elite damage versus using one or the other. Because when we use one or the other, they're the exact same number. But because the way they do the math, if you mix them together, it makes it actually higher because you're getting the stack for, this, for the percentage. So let's pull up the spreadsheet here, and we'll look at exactly those numbers, and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about if I can find my spreadsheet. Here's my spreadsheet. All right. I got to get it up on my screen too, though. All right, here we go. All right, so let's go in here and put in. If we, with my actual name, the, the actual numbers that I had last night were 9,340 weapon damage, okay? 9,340. Okay, we're going to leave all the other statistics the exact same because those aren't affecting anything. The only number we want to mess with is our weapon damage because that's the only thing, um, we're holding everything else constant here, okay? So if we go down, we'll see that my damage my damage per second is 189,000 with this setup, 9,340, okay? So if we put on, I had 34% damage versus, um, damage versus elites, 31% damage versus elites, and 34 damage versus armor. So if we put on the damage versus elites, my number ends up being 12,236 without any armor damage, okay? And that's the exact same number it would be if we just had armor damage and not the other, which is why we're not using that. So we're talking about a mixture of the two here, a 33-31 mix. And that brings my DPS number up to 248,483, okay? So if we go back up here again and we put in this number... And we're going to put in the 16,000 number, which is the 31%. This is when enemy armor is up, okay? So when enemy armor is up, and we're using a mixture of 33-31, my weapon damage for hitting targets is 16,274. All the crits and all that stuff's getting counted in here. And the damage I'm dealing while the armor is up is 330,000 DPS while the armor is up. So you see, for... 80% of the time, while the armor's up, because 80% of the health pool is made up of armor, 80% of the time we're doing 330,000 DPS, and then 20% of the time it drops all the way down to 248,000 DPS. So, the question is, what is our DPS if we just use, if it was possible, it's not even possible to do this, but if it was possible, just, so we're making the comparison, which is better, enemy armor damage, or damage versus leads, if we get to make that choice in the game. 
And so what we're doing is, is saying, since I have a 64% mix, we're going to give myself a 64% damage versus elites bonus, okay? And that's going to bring my damage total on my gun to 15,100... 315,000... Jesus, I'm looking at the wrong screen. 15,317.6. I don't know if I put the point six in earlier. Let's see if it's the same number. 311... 311,051. I didn't put the point six in earlier, so we won't put it in now. 15,317 weapon damage. This is for 64% bonus damage just against elites. And you see we have a 311,051 number, which is exactly what we expected. It's in between our 248,000 number for only for, for when the armor is not up. And then we have a 330,000 number, which is higher than the 311,000 number. While the armor is up, right? So the question is, is if we are getting 330,000 DPS for 80% of the time against elite targets with, 80, with, the, with the mixture and 248,000 the other 20% of the time, over the course of time, is that number actually higher than using just elite damage. And if it is, that means that in any situation that you have a choice between elite armor damage and... Because in the game, there are more ways to get elite armor damage. I mean, I'm sorry. There are more ways to get... What are they called? Elite damage. There are more ways to get elite damage than there are armor damages. So you're always going to have elite damage, no matter what. There's going to be part of that in your build. If you want, it, it's definitely what you're going to, you're going to end up doing that for PvE for sure, right? So, is this mixture going to be higher than if we actually had 60, if we could get 64%, is it going to be higher than this number here? And the answer ends up being yes. And I'll show you how I ended up doing it. How we know that. So, if we go back and we put in this number, 16,000... 274 at the bottom of our spreadsheet and this is a great way i was saying to use the spreadsheet at the bottom of the spreadsheet 16,204 ends up equaling in a total over a magazine cycle 1,764,793 total damage in one magazine of 38 bullets for all the stuff that i've got set up in my stats the way they are okay and if we look at the 15,000 number once again 15,317, okay, and we're almost done, 15,317, we get 1.66 million, 1.6 million something, and then we look at the lowest number on our list, which is when the armor's down, with a mixture, we have 12,236, and you can see that that number is all the way down to 1.3 million, and so what I did was, is the is since it's 80% of the time, I took it over the lifespan of our DPS over 10 magazine clips, including reloads, okay? 10 magazine clips using. 80% of the time, we're doing 330,000 DPS, and the other 20% of the time, we're doing 248,000 DPS. So, 8 out of those 10 magazines, we're doing 330,000 DPS, and the other 2 magazines, we're doing 248,000 DPS. So, I took this total damage number and multiplied it by 2 in the case of the 12,236 number, and I multiplied it by 8, and then divided back that number by 10 to come up with a DPS for what it actually is. So, the differences between the two DPS numbers are, and I can, uh, I think I have the total number on here, I hope. I can put it in here. If I don't, that's not it. It's not a big deal. I can just give it to you, because I've got them wrote down. So, it ends up being a difference of, if we just, if we have 64% elite gear, we have 311,000 DPS, okay? If we have elite armor and damage, or damage versus elites and damage versus armor, that shit's so confusing, we end up with a total of 314,000 DPS. Now, that's only a difference of 3,000 DPS, but that's a 3,000 DPS difference just in this example. It's going to be even a more exaggerated number because it's impossible to actually get 64% um, 
enemy or uh, it's impossible to get 64% elite damage, right? I don't think I don't think it's possible to get a, a number like that. But it is definitely possible to have a mixture more of like maybe 35 enemy armor in enemy armor damage and maybe 20 or whatever um, elite damage. And so my point being is is that if uh, what this tells us is is that if this number ends up being higher, that means that in every single situation that we have a chance to have a choice between making uh, a choice between elite damage or a choice between armor damage, you actually are going to end up going the route of armor damage in this game. And the biggest choice that you end up making is back here on a gun like I have here. The gun I have here has destruction on it and then it has um, ferocious on it and so you get an 18% so you can see the difference here is 5% more uh, you definitely 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 given the fact that we're we're going to definitely have elite damage on our gear that's a fact if for PvE we're definitely gonna have that for elite damage then you definitely want talent over ferocious at least in this at least on your gun now when you get into your gear and stuff i don't know where all the options are that that recalibration station is is a damn rubik's cube to me i haven't been through the entire thing but i'm assuming that there's some situations that you can get into there so to min max between these two stats and we'll compare some other stats in other videos you want to have a mixture, not the same of either one, because the same of either one is not going to be higher than a mixture. So you want a mixture of enemy armor damage, and you want a, mix, a mixture of any enemy armor damage and damage against the elites. And if you have a choice between damage versus elites and damage versus armor, you want to choose damage versus armor because at the end of the day, it'll be a higher DPS number for you, even if it's a small one. We're min-maxing, right? So that's the deal. All right, guys, I don't want to take any more of your time up. I'm trying to get through these videos as fast as possible. This one was hard because I couldn't get the um, I couldn't get the names down between Elite and Armor. Either way, told you these are conversational-type videos. Um, thanks. I hope everyone enjoyed this. Like I said, I'm going to be putting this in the playlist, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video upload. And uh, once again, have a good Easter. It's Jeff. I just said my real name. It's gone. Whatever. It's Jeff. Take it easy, guys.